height. Today I'd like to show how easy it is to publish a web service with the Out Systems platform and then how easy it is to consume it. So uh, here's all my applications. I'm gonna write a new application. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it um, publish publish web service and I'm gonna create a module and let's say we have a list of um, a list of uh, locations and um, and I want to um, and I want to allow someone to to ask for a location ID and I'll respond with um, location information so I'm gonna go to uh, here to data and I'm gonna bring in a uh, an Excel spreadsheet that I already have that has a bunch of um, locations so I'm gonna grab that and so this is the kind of data we have in there uh, let me make it bigger so there's this kind of uh, there's server information that each each one has but that's our records it could be anything right so I'm gonna say open and the platform creates um, this entity or table with all this information so let's go to logic and here I'm gonna I'm gonna create a web service web services and I want to add a web service and I'm gonna call it publisher and, uh, and then I want to create a web service method so just get location and I'm going to say that it requires an input parameter that will be called location ID and notice that just from the name the platform introspects what type of data it is it's a location identifier so we're gonna have that be input and as output parameter we'll have a location and it figures that the data type is a record so it's gonna send back all that record so it it does all that by itself and I need some logic here if I drag and drop the location ID here it figures that I want to do a get on that and then I said I have to set the result so I come here I put an assignment and I want to assign that the output of the operation gets set to what I got out of that SQL so I'm ready to publish theirs and I publish. I come here and I look at my factory and I look at all my all the things, all the applications I have published and I'm looking for the publication one, the pub web service. So I see it here, I'm gonna click in here and I'm gonna click in here again and what I need is the WSDF. So if I come to web services and I click on publisher, here I get a service description. This is the WSDL, the web services description language, which explains to any caller what this web service expects as input and what it will send back as output. So all of that was created. And I'm gonna copy that to the clipboard. Now, say for example, I go to some something out there in the web that I found um, that can help me test things like web services. I can I can paste that whistle there and hit start, and it says there's a there's one method called get location, and it shows me how I can um, test it. I can say okay, give me location one, and I hit send, and it will return all this data um, as a SOAP uh, XML. Uh, envelope right so now let's write an application to consume a web service we'll use the same web service that we are publishing here I'm gonna go to new web application called com ws to be consistent and create a new module and first I need to have a reference to the web service so um, it already has that in the clipboard, so it figure the whistle. I add the whistle. From the whistle, it figures out that there's a method that expects this input and that output. If I go to data, it conven conveniently created a structure which describes how this record is coming back to us. So that's all good. Now let's 
take advantage of that web service. I go into my UI. I may want to have a screen that allows the user to enter location ID. So let's put a variable here and say um, and say and uh, make it that big. And let's have also a button. And the button would uh, have a more meaningful name like uh, get location. And let's see, we need some variables. So on the home page, I need a local variable called location ID. And we'll make that be an integer. And we're also going to have a local variable called location. And from the name, it introspects that it's a record. When, uh, so let's marry this to the input variable. And let's, um, let's work on our button here. And what is the button going to do? The button is going to call the web service. It, the web service needs input. The web service is going to send us output. So let's hold the output in the variable that we already created to hold the uh, output. And we're going to need a, an AJAX refresh. So we'll come back to do that. Let's go back to the screen. And in the screen, we need a place to hold all the, um, the output. So I'm going to use this widget here to show a record. Um, the source record will be an expression, which is simply that my output. And the layout, I can use the structure to describe how the layer should occur. So this this is called the show record one. This is this is the ID that's that's being used. I can also rename it to something like show output. But this ID is important because when in the in the action when we call the Ajax refresh, we need to identify what is it that we're refreshing in the screen. So we're ready to Oh, no, there's one last thing that is complaining about, and that is when we issue the, the screen, when we, um, when we go here, it's not just a submit, it's a specific submit, an AJAX submit. There we go. So I'm going to republish, and here we are. Let's test our web service from this other application. Good location. I get all the same data that we got before, California, memory is 248, same stuff, if I, there's other records out there. So, thank you for watching my demo.